eight years before William Lustig directed the Maniac Cop movie. He directed a film that had a different kind of maniac. <laughs> Welcome to the horror show To realize there is no room to run Don't know who came to try There are boys hiding your life Welcome to the horror show To realize there is no room to run Don't know who came to try Obsession through your mind Maniac. The story of a man who is mentally ill. And he goes around killing women. And he's a real mama's boy. Seems like a basic psycho ripoff. Actually, you'd be pretty much right. Both films have the villain be the main character and the antagonist. But Maniac did it in a way that you have total sympathy in some sequences for Joe Spinell who played Frank Zito the killer in the film. And what Psycho had in suspense, Maniac definitely has in gore, and then some. The special effects were done by Tom Savini, and not only did the blood effects make people get outraged, but the concept alone was enough to make mental scars. Now, this is a Blu-ray and DVD combo pack, but the DVD does not have the feature film. In fact, all it has is a whole bunch of newsreels, and they're describing how much controversy is surrounding this film. They also describe how disgusting this film is, and how it could damage the younger minds of born-to-be psychopaths. Let me fill you in on a little secret. It's all willpower. If you have enough willpower, then if you watch something like this, then you should be fine. But if you watch something like this and you're a sick bastard, it's just making you more of a sick bastard. You were already a sick bastard. It's not gonna change who you are, really. But back to the film! The special effects are amazing. This is definitely some of Tom Sabini's best work. Joe Spinell as Frank Zitta is just an awesome cast choice. He is so great in the role, and he puts on this sympathetic yet totally freaking nuts performance that just works. Caroline Monroe is a hottie as usual. When she came into the foreground, she was just taking pictures of Frank Zito, and then he found her somehow, and I thought that was kind of creepy, like he found out who she was by looking at her bag. She didn't question it. She was more like, I remember you, you are from the park. But she is an important character. It seems like she was the one thing that could keep Joe Spinell's character, Frank Zito, under control. If time went on, then they became closer and closer, he might have stopped killing for good. But those damn mother-like instincts, man, they just snapped. The score is beautiful, the cinematography is gritty and dark, and the city is a really great location for this film. And again, the gore is superb. The acting is spot-on awesome for this kind of film. I love it, I definitely do, and I highly recommend it. It is a different kind of slasher film that shows no mercy and is just different enough to not be called a ripoff of Psycho. So, overall, I give... The 1980 classic, a 4.5 out of 5. I am Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Movie Reviews. Make sure to like my Facebook page in the description below, and to leave comments and subscribe.